Danny and Costa for Fight Magazine here with UFC welterweight Daniel Ninja Roberts. Mr. Roberts, if you could please tell us about your fight coming up with Forrest Pets. He's a, a late replacement. Uh, how did that affect your camp? Um, not really at all. You know, it's still the same game plan. And it's pretty much, you know, he's the same type of opponent. And, uh, he likes to stand, you know, just like my other opponent. So it doesn't really um, affect me any. You know, I'm going to just go and do what I do best. So it doesn't really affect me. You're doing very well on your UFC debut against John Howard. Uh, you ended up getting clipped toward the end there. W what do you take away from that fight? You know, they, they say you learn more from your losses than... Uh... Actually, I learned a lot. I probably watched that like <laughs> 2,000 times. But, you know, um, it was a couple of times, you know, where I took him down and I, I could have passed the side control, you know, and I had a dominant position. And instead, I was just kind of punching, you know. And I was trying to be excited, you know, but now I got to... You know, it's it's good to be excited, but sometimes you gotta take your time and get position before you know just strike. But so I'm gonna definitely um, have good control before I rain down some strikes this time. So, yeah. And for Forrest Pets, you know, he's been in the UFC uh, quite a bit before. Were you able to see a lot more tape on him than you were your your previous yeah, opponent? I saw some um, some tapes on him. I mean, he's he got some power. You know, I know what to look out for, but um, I think it's a good matchup for me for sure. What kind of ninja skills are you gonna bring against Forrest Pets? Um, well, it's kind of a secret. You, you'll see, um, <laughs> you'll see, um, tomorrow. How did you earn the, the nickname Ninja that got you that in the first place? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm, it's kind of like, you know, kicking people in the head, you know, kind of just stuck with me, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I was flipping around. So, you know, I'm a ninja. Now I'm beating people up in the cage. I'm still a ninja. Yeah. And uh, you're an inventor in, in your spare time. Have you been uh, inventing any new ninja moves to maybe try out? Well, I, I've been uh, in thinking of some new strikes I'm going to do on Forrest's face. So, yeah, you'll see some creative strikes here. Some, so, yeah, some, I do have some inventions, so maybe some new submissions, uh, some new ways to strike. You'll, you'll see some stuff from me. And being in the UFC, is that a way to bankroll your upstarts for your inventions? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely, you know, it's, it's definitely a plus, you know, to, to get – you know, paid in the UFC, but, you know, my main thing is, you know, go out here and, you know, do what I do best, you know, and just stay focused, you know. I know I'm a lot better fighter than I'm forced, but, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, that I'm always going to win, but I just got to stay smart and do what I do best, you know, protect myself and, you know, it'll be all right for me, for sure. You train with Gilbert Melendez out there in San Francisco. Yeah, uh, man. Training with Gil, man, it's awesome. He, he knows so much. He's taught me so much about um, MMA, man, and it's a lot of other tough guys. Uh, Jake Shields, uh, Nick and Nate Diaz, those guys are, like, they're really awesome to train with, you know, and I'm only going to get so much better training out there with them. So, yeah. Uh, old friend and teammate of yours, Gerald Harris, is also on this card. Oh, yeah, that's my, um, that's my buddy. We, we uh, wrestled together in high school. Yeah, I've been, we've been best buddies for a while. So, yeah, he fights right after me, so. It's pretty pretty awesome. We um, we went to the same high school together. Now we're fighting the UFC together, so it's cool. Did you guys call each other up and, and talk about it? You know how it's gonna go down for you guys? Uh, <laughs> not really. We, uh, we both know um what to do. Um, we both pretty skilled fighters. You know, we just gotta stay focused and do our job, and and I'm sure we'll do that. And what can fans expect from you at UFC 116? Um, I mean, straight off the gate, you know, I'm going to keep the pressure. Um, I will remain smart, you know. I'm, I'm going to, I got to get a good, solid position, but um, I'm going to be super aggressive, you know. And I'm always looking for a finish, you know. So I definitely don't like to leave it up to the judges. So I'm, I'm trying to finish them as soon as possible. Daniel Ninja Roberts.